This is the first of the flight control subsystems. We'll look at components, controls and indicators of the roll control system in more detail. We'll also look at the function of the spoilers on ground. The right pilot control wheel is directly linked by cables to both ailerons. But the control wheels are normally interconnected. So rotating either wheel mechanically moves the ailerons. Movement is helped by gear tabs. On the right wing there is a ground adjustable tab which is adjusted by maintenance when required. The left pilot control wheel is connected directly by cable to control valves and to roll spoiler actuators. The inboard actuators are powered by hydraulic system number one and the outboard by system number two. At air speeds above 170 knots, the flight control electronic control unit, FCECU, disables the outboard roll spoilers. After the aircraft has landed, the roll spoilers automatically change from flight to ground mode. The spoilers are all fully extended to dump the lift and improve braking efficiency. For the spoilers to operate in ground mode, the flight taxi switch on the glare shield must be in the flight position. The power levers must be below flight idle plus 12 degrees. And the weight on wheels switches must have detected that the aircraft has landed. These lights illuminate when the spoiler panels extend on touchdown. If the spoilers do not extend on ground after a delay of five seconds, these caution lights come on. After touchdown, the spoiler panels can be retracted by selecting the flight taxi switch to taxi. Touch the flight taxi switch to select taxi. The flight taxi switch is spring-loaded to flight and held in taxi by a solenoid. If the power levers are moved above flight idle plus 12 degrees, the solenoid is de-energized and the switch goes automatically to flight. It must be selected to flight for takeoff. If, after selecting taxi, the spoiler panels do not retract, you'll see this caution light. The powered flight control surface indicator on the permanent display area of the left pilot's MFD takes input from sensors on each roll spoiler panel and shows the position of the inboard and outboard roll spoilers. But there is no indication of aileron position. The aileron trim indicator shows the left and right wing trimming bias selected on the trim switch. This is a rocker switch which moves the left wing down or right wing down. Actually, it trims the right aileron only. On the glare shield, the powered flight control shutoff lights come on to indicate a jam in the inboard roll spoiler actuator system or the outboard actuator system. They indicate only actuator jams not cable jams. Pushing a switch light retracts the extended roll spoilers by setting them to return hydraulic pressure. If there is a jam in the left or right control circuit, pulling and twisting the roll disconnect handle 90 degrees separates the two sides of the roll control system. Touch the roll disconnect handle. The left pilot control wheel now operates the roll spoilers and the right pilot operates the ailerons. A spoiler one or two switch light may illuminate after disconnection if control is by aileron only. This happens when the ailerons are deflected beyond 50 degrees of control wheel rotation. Touch the inboard switch light. Now touch the outboard switch light. 
The roller spoilers are retracted by dumping the extension hydraulic pressure to return pressure. These caution lights illuminate either when extension pressure has been removed from a roll spoiler or there are hydraulic problems. But the outboard light does not come on under normal conditions. That is when the FCECU disables the outboard spoilers above 170 knots.